wine club is getting better and better and better and uh, I'm so proud that now we are starting cooperation with the winemaker. This is an, the seven, eight type of wine that is entirely made, not, there are a lot, most of the wines from the wine club are made for us, but this is based on our suggestions. So we have Vino da Rimessa, we have Insumma, and um, uh, we have this one here in two version for the level one, the Giarrocco and the Palo for the level two. Private label, this is my colleague Gaetano. My goal in the future is to have uh, a label which, which one of us, me, Julia, Lindsay and Mattia, so we will work on it. It's made by my, the, uh, she's the painter that makes all the, um, all, all the things with the superheroes, you know, if you're part of, of, of level two wine club, you know what I'm talking about because I was putting in, in the box a little gift with those painted. I'm getting actually becoming so famous now. And tomorrow she's actually having a big, a big exhibition uh, in, the, um, in the American Embassy. And uh, so, um, southeast of Rome, 45 kilometers, we are in Piglio, a little village that became really famous locally for his, this grape variety that's been rediscovered recently called the Cesanese. It's a grape variety that in my opinion has a kind of incredible potential. A slightly thicker skin, big tannins, can age for a long time, not too much concentrated in the color. It could be something in between a Pinot Noir and a Barolo. And uh, I, you know, I mentioned a Lavisho, Priore, Cholli, which is, is a, a producer that we sometimes put in uh, Giacobbe in, in our wine club. And Marco Falcone, which originally comes from Calabria, uh, he is actually a virologist. Uh, infectivologist is actually study infective disease and um, so his video is interesting how he was somehow st staying a bit in between you know he was in, in the heart of the issue especially with COVID so when you talk about how you raise up uh, vineyards naturally and on the same time you have to defend your body so he was surrounded by Novak's people because most of the natural winemakers in Italy are anti-vax. And I, I might understand, I am not an OVAX at all, but I might understand the fact that if you are, you know, if you train your vineyards to survive without using chemicals, and then you think that even your body is similar to your vineyard, which is not. Because the problem is that if you train a vineyard like this, you have to uh, be ready to a natural selection and the natural selection with human being is kind of a Nazi thing so I don't know maybe I would prefer to save my life <laughs> with with the vaccination and uh, so it's nice so if you watch the video he's trying somehow you know to deal with this fact that, that when you do grow plants naturally on the same time you have to deal with the fact that, that uh, the body human body is different and uh, but I'm glad that the fact that in this one there are no chemicals and it's totally naturally fermented. And um, when uh, we actually saw the jars, we actually suggested with him to put the jar inside the soil. And so we created this 1,400 bottles just for us. So this to me is my second baby after Insuma, the other one. This possibly, uh, I know that I say this every year, but this level one wine club is possibly the best selection we've done so far. Maybe because we're getting better and better. Of course, the numbers gives us power. Now, if we go to a winemaker and we say, oh, I would like to order 1,500 bottles, the winemaker is able to do things that maybe he was not able to do before because, you know, you know, we pay in advance and he has the opportunity maybe to invest in quality a bit more than before. And on the same time, we're somehow saving maybe a great variety, saving a vineyard and creating a wine that is unique and is just made for us. And uh, Cesanese is, uh, is a, as I was telling you, is a beautiful, complex grape variety that needs to be rediscovered because it's only 20, 25 years that Cesanese became, you know, back. And it's a grape variety that's been there maybe for hundreds of years, but only in the last uh, recent future, uh, recent uh, past uh, has been, you know, developed. Thought the notes, this is beautiful. This is a, this graphite type of flavor, a little more red fruits. Nice, um, aromatic, but without being flat, without being easy. And I like the fact that there is a slightly hint of residual sugar with a nice hint at the end. It's so drinkable. This is number second uh, sale in our, in our restaurant, the wine by the glass with Insuma. Everyone's love it. People that like softer wines, people that like uh, drier wines, they both like it. Take care of this wine. I don't know if it can be aged for a long time. How about pairing? 
uh, brr, again, don't, don't use something really, really too complex and too fat. I would go with some game with this one here, something like a game or some medium uh, aged cheese.